Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about problem number 18 of chapter 6. There's two results that we want to prove. So uh, let's go ahead and prove the first one. So the first one is going to be uh, to prove that the uh, that the average of energy squared is equal to 1 over z of d 2z d beta squared where beta is uh, 1 over kt okay so let's prove this um, the average of, uh, of, of, a, of a variable uh, is equal there's a very standard formula for computing averages of, of variables and that formula is this it is a it's a sum over states uh, energy of that state squared times the probability of that state that's the that's the formula for average now now the probability of a state can be written as uh, the Boltzmann factor over the partition function so let's write it let's let's write it as as a sum over states of energy of that state squared multiplied by the the Boltzmann factor which is a exponential of a uh, negative energy of that state over over tau let me write the one over tau as as beta because that's the letter that we're using um over the partition function which is a function of temperature okay so i'm gonna pull the one over z out of the summation because it does not the the the, the one over z is a function of temperature it does not depend on which state we're talking about so so i'm going to pull it out of the out of the summation so i have one over z multiplied by a summation over states uh energy of that state squared e to the negative beta energy of that state now as you can clearly see Every time you differentiate this exponential factor with respect to beta, you you you, you get a factor of negative e s uh, in in the front. So if you differentiate it twice, you get two factors of negative e s, right? You get two of them. So this just becomes e s squared. In other words, this factor here can be obtained by differentiating twice. Okay, you can clearly verify that if you differentiate uh, this exponential twice with respect to beta, you get e s squared times the exponential. All right. Now, now, the property of a derivative is that I take the summation of a derivative. Is this that's the same thing as the derivative of a summation? That's why I can pull this derivative outside of the summation. So now I have 1 over z times second derivative of, of a sum over states of Boltzmann factors. Now, now this thing, this summation, that's just the partition function. So I'm going to write it as the partition function. Okay. Now... Now that com that completes the proof of the first result. Let's move on to the second result. We want to prove uh, that the standard deviation of of energy of the system is equal to kT square root uh, c, uh, heat capacity over over k, where k is just the Boltzmann constant and c is the heat capacity, which is in this case, defined as the partial derivative of average energy with respect to temperature. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove that. Um, let's first of all take the partial derivative of the average energy with respect to temperature. Okay. Um, now what is this this is just um this is actually uh 
this is the partial derivative with respect to temperature of the average energy, but the average energy, there's an expression for it, so I'm going to use that expression. Negative d by d beta of natural log of the partition function. We have this expression from uh, from a previous problem, and and um, and I'm, and we're allowed to use this expression because the problem uh, clearly says that we can use uh, the results from previous. Uh, for, we can we can we can use previous results. Anyway, we have uh, we have negative d by dt, uh, d by d beta, log, partition function. Now, what is d by dt? Let me remind you of the relation uh, that connects beta to t. Beta is defined as one over k t. Now, now. I want to take this partial derivative with respect to t. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to something that uh, I'm gonna change it to a derivative with respect to beta. How do I do that? Well, the partial derivative with respect to t that's the same thing as partial derivative with respect to beta times d beta dt. That's just the chain rule uh, multiplied by d by d beta log z. Okay. Now, I can. This is just a number. dBdt is just a number, so that's why I can uh, change the order here, multiplied by d squared, d b squared. Excuse me, d beta squared. Log of the partition function. <clears throat> now, what is d beta dt? Let's go ahead and calculate d beta dt. Well, d beta dt, according to so this expression here, it's just 1 over k, negative 1 over t squared. That's what the beta dt is. Okay, so I'm going to take this, plug it into here. All right, so I have negative, negative 1 over kt squared times d2, d beta 2, log of the partition function. Now, what is this? This is just 1 over kt squared, second derivative, log z. All right, so that's, that's the expression for, uh, for the derivative of the average energy with respect to temperature. Now, now there's some further uh, manipulations that we can do to further simplify this. Um, so let's let's take the derivative. Let's write out the derivative. We have one over k t squared d by d beta one over z d z d beta. Right. That's just the the first derivative of log z. Now, now let's take the second derivative. This is uh, this is just going to be negative one over z squared d z d beta, but there's another dz d beta, so I can write dz d beta squared, plus 1 over z, d2 z d beta squared. All right. Um, this whole thing is equal to the partial derivative of the average energy with respect to temperature. Okay. Now, now I need to remind you of something. Uh, we we recall from a previous result that we obtained from a previous problem. Uh, we we have this result: the average energy of this system is equal to negative one over z uh, dz d beta. Okay. If you don't know, if you don't know where this result comes from, it just comes from a previous problem. Anyway, um, so 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 the square of this, the square of this is going to be one over z squared d z d beta squared. Now, you sh you should probably notice the the similarity between these two expressions. And that's going to come in very handy later on. 
now for now um there's another result that i need to remind you of which is this the average of uh, of energy squared that has an expression and that expression is this one over z second derivative of the partition function with respect to beta uh, once again this result comes from a previous problem now the uh the the standard deviation is gonna be excuse me standard deviation squared is gonna be average of energy squared minus average of energy squared right this result comes from a previous problem again now we have an expression for this and we have an expression for this so let's plug that in um first of all this first term is going to be one over z uh, second derivative of z minus 1 over z squared dz d beta squared right uh, the first term come from here second term come from here okay now now um, let's rewrite this as negative 1 over z squared dz d beta squared plus 1 over z d2 z d beta squared. Um, the reason I'm writing it this way is because I want you to notice just how similar, I don't think this color is going to work, uh, just how similar these two things are. They're very, very similar. In fact, they're the same thing. Okay, they're the same thing. That is why I can make the following, uh, I, I can pull the following move. I'm going to say that this is equal to kt squared partial derivative of energy partial t. Okay, because if you take this kt squared and move it to the other side, you just get end up with you just end up with this thing on the left hand side and and d d t multiplied by k t squared on the right hand side, which is which is what I wrote down here. Anyway, that's just algebra. I so so now I have sigma squared equals k t squared partial and average energy partial t. All right, uh, that's just you know that's just uh, that's the left hand side. That's the right hand side. Now. I need to remind you that this thing is just, that's just the heat capacity. That's the definition of the heat capacity. So I, I have here k t squared c. Okay. Okay. So now I, I'm going to write this as k squared over k t squared c because I can. Um, so sigma squared equals k squared over k t squared c. I take the square root of both sides, I just have sigma equals k t square root c over k. Okay, that's the result that we're looking for, and that's the result that we get. Q E D. That's all. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video. Bye.